So welcome. Thank you all so much for coming. Congratulations on deciding to tap in and manifest your highest selves. Today is a really powerful day, 222 on 222. So 2222, there's five of them, is all about harmony, community, collaboration, insights, and awakenings. And the angel number 22222 means that you can attract miracles and good fortune into your life by following your life's purpose. So Today, we're going to do some moving meditation and guided meditation, and this is going to clear your energy, your aura, and help you to manifest your best self and get back in touch with following your true life's purpose and being true to who you are. So I'm really excited you all are joining me. So we're going to start with some breathing meditation. So we want to tap right in. We want to be breathing through into our lungs right here. So deep breath. So sit up nice and tall and you're going to inhale through your nose to the count of four. You're going to hold it to the count of four and then you're going to exhale for the count of four. And I'll talk you through it until it becomes natural. So take a nice big deep breath in. Bring it down into your belly and hold it. And then exhale through your nose nice and slow. And then inhale, bring the air all the way down, relax your shoulders and hold it. And then exhale nice and slow. Focus on the breath coming in through your nose, inhale, hold it and exhale. Inhale. Allow any thoughts that come to just go and come as they please and exhale. Don't fight your thoughts, just see them as they come. You are the observer of your thought, see it like a movie. You are the watcher and see the thought go and come back to your center and focus on your breath. Inhale, unclench your jaw and allow your tongue to softly rest on the roof of your mouth and softly smile with your eyes, feeling that relaxation between the forehead and around the eyes. Allow that relaxation to come down into the back of the neck, down the spine, all the way down, relaxing your shoulders, down to your tailbone, allowing yourself to just let go of any tension in the base of the spine and relax on that exhale. Now bring your chin to your chest while you inhale. All the way down and just let it hang loosely and rest it there. And then exhale. And now turn your chin towards your shoulder. Nice and easy. Exhale as you come back to center. And then inhale, you're going to bring your chin to the other shoulder. And then exhale back to center. Now bring your forehead back up, looking up. And you're going to inhale and look over your shoulder. Exhale back to center. Inhale over the opposite shoulder. Exhale back to center. Bring your arms up nice and tall. Clasp your fingers together, reach up nice and tall and bring your elbows back, shoulders down and inhale, looking up. Exhale, chin back down. One more time, inhale up. 
exhale down. Open your arms, reach behind you. Interlock your fingers behind you if you can. You want to open your chest nice and wide. Inhale and exhale here, opening that heart chakra. And then bringing the arms back around, up and above, and then back down, resting them right on your hands. And now we're going to get in a comfortable position for the meditation. I want to make sure that you all can hear me very well for this portion. So I'll probably move forward a little closer so you can, excuse me, <clears throat> you can lay down for this portion. You can sit up in um, mountain pose or Tadasana. You can sit up here in easy pose, however you're going to be comfortable. Um, let's see here. Okay, so we're going to do a lot of different stylized guided meditations and visualizations. So you want to be really comfortable and able to really not move around too much. So if you need to put a pillow on the floor, lay on the couch, whatever you need to do to get comfortable, because you're going to want to focus on my voice and try and drown out any distraction, any other noise, any itch, any urge to move around you. You're going to want to try and um, ignore that. So we're going to focus on your breathing again. So inhale through the nose, hold it, exhale through the nose. Now keep breathing, filling up your chest with nice fresh air, getting that oxygen into your body, connecting you to the prana. Your life force energy is the breath. So keep breathing in this fashion. Nice, big, deep inhales. Hold it for four seconds and exhale nice and slow for four seconds. So inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. So keep breathing, inhale. Counting down to yourself, hold. And then exhale, four, three, two, one. With each inhale, you feel yourself relax more and more. Feel yourself slowly melting down into the yoga mat or the floor or the surface that you're laying on, feeling your muscles let go. Any tension in your shoulders, in your back, in your legs, you just let it go, melting away. Focusing on your breath, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four. Now I want you to visualize a ball of bright, white, healing, golden light above your head. This bright light is healing energy, it's source energy, it's love, and it's crystalline light will heal your body. And you're going to envision the light coming down into your crown, the top of your head, like a ray of sunshine or like a golden light shower coming down in through the top of the head in the crown and coming down into the space between the eyebrows, your brow chakra and releasing any tension there and relaxing, softly smiling, allowing your eyes to relax. Bring that light down into your throat, clearing your throat chakra, bring it down further into your chest, all the way down into your heart chakra. Feel it circling around your heart, clearing any heartbreak, any blocks to receiving love and allow that light to come down through your shoulders, down your arms, 
down your wrists and your fingers, shooting out of your wrists and your fingertips. That light is cleansing everything that was blocking you, receiving love and giving love. And bring that white light down into your belly, deep down into your belly. Your solar plexus is the space behind your ribs. So it's right here if you were a transformer. This is your all spark. This is your soul. This is your sun. This is who you are. So you bring white, shiny light, light there. And this is who you are right here. You want to bring that really big, bright white light reminding you that you are right there in your soul. Bring that white light down into the space below the belly button. This is your sacral chakra, your creativity, your sexuality, your sensuality. And then bring it down into the base of the spine, your tailbone. This is your root. This is who you are. I am safe. I am home. This white healing crystal energy now goes all the way down your legs your thighs, your knees, your shins, your calves, your ankles, all the way down to your feet, shooting out of the bottom of the feet, cleansing your entire body, your, your spiritual body, your aura body, your physical body, all of your cells being recrystallized with this healing energy coming in through the top of the head, shooting out the bottom of the feet into the center of Mother Earth. This is molten hot lava energy. Allow negativity to be released out the bottom of the feet, any blocking, any disease, any negative energy, any darkness, any shame, any guilt, any anger, any resentment. Allow it all to come out the bottom of the feet into the center of the earth where mother's molten hot lava energy burns it all away. Now mother Gaia loving energy comes back up into the bottom of the feet, shooting up both of the legs, up the back of the spine, shooting all the way up into the heart, this orange molten hot loving energy from our mother combines in the chest with the loving energy from our divine source into our heart and allow that love to just take you over. And you are love and you are loved. Allow this feeling to circle your heart and allow it to get bigger. Allow it to create a bubble of white energy around your body. This is a filter. It allows love and light to enter but negativity cannot get through this screen. Send this healing love and light energy bubble, make it bigger and let it surround the room that you're in, the people around you. Allow it to get bigger surrounding your house, the building, the street. Keep making that love bubble even bigger. White healing energy as big as the state our country, the continent, keep making that bubble even bigger. As big as the entire planet Earth, surrounding it in white healing light, and now even bigger, as big as the universe, which is infinite. You are now connected to source, Mother Gaia, yourself through your heart, and to all of the existence through the universe. Feel this oneness, feel this divine love, feel this connectedness, this community. This is always available to you. Anytime you feel detached or alone, you can tap right here into the love of the oneness that is the truth of who we all are. I recommend doing this clearing meditation morning and night as like an energetic shower to refresh you. It's a very fast meditation. You can do it on your own anytime. Just focus on your breathing and envision the white light coming in and clearing your whole body. Going out through your feet into the center of Mother Earth, back up through the bottom of your feet, connecting your heart, and then make that love bubble. 
the white bright light as big as you and make it bigger and bigger. See how easily that I talked you through that. See how easily you did it this time. This is an easy visualization you are able to do anytime you want. And we're gonna go right into continuing to focus on our breathing. Now we're going to do a cord cutting where we are gonna cut the energetic ties to the experiences and the people that may be holding us back from accomplishing our dreams. So I want you to focus on your breathing and inhale. One, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Keep breathing, inhale. And now in front of you, I want you to visualize the people the places, the experiences, the situations, any negative thing that you feel is holding you back where it makes you feel regret or shame or guilt, any person that puts you down or hurts you that is keeping you from moving forward, anything that is keeping you from letting go of the past, the first thing that comes into your mind, see it before you, almost it's like on a platter, like you can see this memory or this person right in front of you. Now, remove any guilt or shame that you're feeling for this coming to mind. We're gonna cut the energetic cord to it and release it. So in visual, visualize a black, Cord. This is an energetic cord tying you to this experience, this person, the situation. See the energy that it's taking from you as you focus on it, as you think about it. Now see a large pair of scissors and cut that large cord that's attaching you to this person, the situation, this experience. And replace that cord with white healing light sending the situation and the person love and allow and trust that this cord has been healed and you are now able to move forward as is this other person, this other situation, because they want to forgive you and move forward too. Now forgive yourself for loving the person that hurt you, for allowing yourself to be hurt, there is nothing wrong with love. Exhale, let it go. Now visualize there is a chain wrapped around your ankle. And attached to this chain is a chair. And everywhere you're going in life, you're dragging this chair behind you and you feel like you cannot move freely. This chair represents everything that is holding you back. It could be a childhood experience, a trauma, a failed relationship, bad money experiences, anything that makes you feel like you just can't do it and you have this excuse, this reason, this struggle, your story. It's just a chair holding you back, chained to your leg. Now see all of these experiences, this chair, and see yourself wanting to be free. Now look down around your neck and see that you hold the key. It's right there. All you have to do is grab it and reach down and unlock this chain that's tying you back. Unlock it and release it and allow it to fall away and see yourself start to walk freely and release it and let it all go. And you're walking forward along your path. It may be in the woods, it may be a grassy pathway, but it's a beautiful path and you're walking forward and you know that it's your path. Now I want you to visualize where you're going. Is it your dream home, your dream business, 
What is it that you want to be doing every single day? What does your dream day look like? Do you wake up early and do yoga and meditate? Do you tend to your garden? Do you make a real whole breakfast? Do you work for yourself? Do you not have to punch in? What is your daily activity, your dream day? What does it look like and how does it make you feel? Visualize this, feel it, imagine how you would feel. Would you be peaceful and happy, stress-free? What does this ideal day look like? If you're having a hard time picturing it, I want you to think of your bucket list. If you were told that you had one day left to live, what would that day look like? Visualize living your dreams. What is it that you want to be doing? It's the first thing that came to your mind. And now you're going to continue to picture this life. And once you are done with this meditation, you're going to take a notebook and a pen and you're going to write it out and be specific. Are you drinking tea in the morning? What kind of tea? How does it taste? Get as specific as possible. Those details that you focus on, how you feel when you focus on those details, that's how you create and manifest. The, deal, the daily ideal life that you are trying to achieve is as easy as picturing it and focusing on that. And if you feel any resistance, any shame that you should have it, any guilt, any tinge of it's not possible, then write about those too. Those are your fears. Those are the blocks that are holding you back. And thank it for protecting you and release them. Just picture how it would feel if you weren't afraid and if you just did it. And this is the manifestation meditation. Any of those fears that are making you feel like you can't do it, remember they're on that chair that was chained to your ankle and you already unlocked it. And remember those keys that you have around your neck. We're going to walk forward with those keys and there is a door and we're going to use that key to unlock the door. And on the other side of that door is all of our desires, everything that we could ever want. So use that key and open the door because you've always had the key. The key is right there within you. And open that door and when you open that door, you see that it's everything you ever wanted, but there's more doors and you have more keys and you always will have the key to continue to open the doors to your desires. There is no limit of keys and the key is always in within you. See yourself unlocking the door and beyond that door is everything you ever wanted, a happy family, financial freedom, time, peace, everything you ever wanted. And you just keep unlocking doors after door after door and it's dream after dream and desire. And they're all meant to be yours. You would not desire if it desire it if it wasn't meant for you to achieve it and to have it. So it's you that's blocking the receiving of it. As soon as you let it go, you'll realize that. So keep breathing, inhale, exhale. Now, what is one small step, one small action that you can take towards achieving this dream right now, today? If it's skydiving, I can save $10 for the skydive instructor. What is one small thing that you can do towards achieving this dream life? Do it today. Now slowly bring your attention back to the room. Open your eyes, start to wiggle your feet. And you can open your eyes and sit back up whenever you're ready. 
Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, give yourself a moment. You may be feeling what I call sparkly, <laughs> a little sedated, a little tired. So you're going to want to take a minute to sit up or to drive or to do anything because I just did what I would say is a meditation, kind of like hypnosis, but I don't make you do anything crazy. We just get tap into the visualization. So how is everyone feeling? Are you excited for this 22222 portal to manifest your dream life? Get that notepad out and write down everything that came to mind. Thank you so much for joining me.